Uh, so hey guys, uh, this is how we work with the rig. Now, this is uh, the basket. You see the crane of the rig. This is the basket, passenger transfer basket. So all the passengers, they are wearing the safety jacket. See, that is the safety jacket. In that jacket, there are some cylinder inside and uh, that is connected with the pulling chain once the chain you will pull that jacket will inflate automatically so this we do in case of emergency only and that you see if uh, you can see that small thing that that is small uh, that is small item this is the mask parrot mask so that also works like that uh, that you can open inside there is one chamber you you can blow inside the chamber and that chamber will inflate and that is how you can save your soul if any incident or accident happens now the weather is quite rough you can see the good thing is that wind is still in control not not very high but in two or three hours the wind speed will be going up to 30 to 40 knots or more so now the weather condition is favorable for a passenger transfer here that is the basket every passenger will go one uh, like four by four four passenger at one time can stand on the basket they'll be going there our crew our bosun maybe they will be uh, indicating them and so how we hold the grab handle on that basket they will be uh, telling them properly the bag will be some small small bags will be inside only small bags not all the luggages we cannot put all the luggages inside that basket so now see everybody will stand they will hold that thing that straps that holding straps they will hold it properly everything will be okay they will be inside the basket properly holding the things and then the crane operator will start operating you see the bosun is communicating directly with the crane operator from inside the bridge also the officers are communicating continuously from the crane operator and the and the rigs uh, deck people so that the operation will be smooth and uh, safe so now see the condition here see the condition everybody is lying down so much vomiting because the weather you know it's very difficult to to stand for the new people especially for us now we are habituated now for this weather so yes it doesn't mean that we don't feel sea sickness because when i join the vessel same happens with me i also vomit but now I still feel the sea, uh, I still feel the sea sickness but now I don't vomit this is the good thing only my head spins a little bit some headache and that's it so I have settled down as per the weather condition but not all because these guys are new they are supposed to transfer to the rig now see see this is how this is how the guys will be going up on the rig the crane is there that is the rig they will be going that is how we do the passenger transfer operation with the rig there are two way of passenger transfer the first is with a helicopter you see that is the helipad the means of water transportation is the best way to transfer the uh, passenger at at one time like in our vessel we are carrying 60 passengers sometime this vessel is the multi-purpose this is the dp2 vessel we are carrying passenger also and cargo also so this is the multi-purpose FSIV vessel so with this you see we are transferring the passenger quite a frequently some passenger in case of emergency they are using the helicopter and they are coming via you know airway but now the most of guys see the pitching yeah oh, oh. see the pitching you can reference the rig see it's going going so up i am standing on height that's why you might not be seeing how actually it is going up and down but it is i think more than five six meter guys trust me i think six seven meters is going up and down it's very difficult now the guys are landing on their landing area so that is how we do the passenger transfer operation the bosun is monitoring all the things on the deck inside officers are monitoring all the things on bridge 
and this is the very complicated and highly risk operation one of the most risk operation in in offshore because this all area this is totally you can see so many jackets so many platforms are there this all area is the highly h2s prone zone so maybe so much h2s gases can release or something but it is not that easy until you are safe everything is safe so that is why we say this being safe is the first way to make safe everything and everybody so this is my abia so okay guys Thank you.